problem with people trying to debunk the heliocentric model is that people don't fully understand the heliocentric model. You know, I didn't even think it was possible to get a line of sight uh, towards Venus, quite frankly, after 10 or 11 o'clock p.m. Um, there, there just is no explanation for it in the globe Earth, you know, ball Earth, heliocentric theory. Hello all and welcome along to another edition of the ever popular Flat Earth Friday. That was a YouTuber called The Morgul, who I believe is a member of the infamous Globe Busters team. He feels he's discovered a problem with the planet Venus that completely unravels the heliocentric model. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't be more wrong. This video was voted for by uh, the channel's patrons, so if you'd like to get involved in that too, please check out the link in the description. There's numerous award levels up for grabs. I just want to mention my empty shelf here quickly as well, uh, as I've received a lot of comments inquiring about uh, what, what it's for, why it's there. I'm going to be filling that up with some science related bits and pieces moving forward, so keep an eye out for those. Right, let's see what all the fuss is about. What's up everybody, John the Morgyle here, going to do a quick flat earth video for you. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, this one is uh, really great evidence against the ball earth theory. Um, starting out, we've got a uh, diagram of the solar system that I pulled from an uh, online source that even globe earthers will say is adequate. Well, the planets are in the right order, I suppose. Scale is all over the place, though. I'm sure it's not 3D, it's nothing fancy, nothing special, but it is adequate to um, describe the inner solar system. And the big issue, real quick, is uh, this past Saturday, the uh, 16th of June, 2018, uh, Venus was visible in the night sky well after uh, 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Oh, no. Venus was visible in the sky after 11 p.m. Why ever could that be? And if you take a look at this image here, my friend Jason in Michigan shot this uh, after 11. Oh man, he's even got a picture. What is going on? Now if you look at uh, online sources, they'll say that Venus actually set at 11, but uh, clearly this thing had another good... Uh, at least half hour, 45 minutes before it would have set uh, behind the horizon here. Okay, I'll check an online source. Oh, look, from Michigan, the heliocentric model says that on the 16th of June 2018, Venus will set at 11.43 p.m. So that means that the photo taken is pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Your opening argument is already null and void. And so the big problem with this is, of course, the fact that uh, in the heliocentric theory, um, Venus and Mercury as well are, uh, we're talking about Venus here, uh, is supposedly on a tighter orbit around the sun compared to the Earth. And so how would it be possible for someone on the night side of Earth to get a line of sight towards Venus? Here comes another example of two-dimensional thinking. Right. Okay, so just uh, took this same diagram to scale and expanded it a bit. But uh, how would it be possible on this ball Earth here to, after uh, 11 o'clock p.m., which would position you, eh, you know, somewhere around right here on the ball. Your line of sight is going to be tangent to this curve. So obviously the, the side of the Earth that's uh, away from the Sun is going to be the, the night side at uh, any point on this um, hypothetical orbital trajectory. And uh, if an observer is positioned on this, clear on the night side of the sphere, obviously by uh, after 11 o'clock p.m., um, their, their line of sight would be um, tangent to this curve and so if we'll just assume in a perfect world that um, this point here would be um, 
right about here would be midnight so somewhere around in here would be about 11 and of course the that line of sight is going to be uh, tangent to the curve and so it is quite impossible to have a, a clear line of sight towards the inner solar system Venus in this particular case um, after 11 o'clock p.m. It just simply does not work in the ball earth model because uh, as you can clearly see this uh, line of sight is never going to converge with uh, Venus's alleged orbital path. I've allowed him to show us his complete ineptitude at grasping a three-dimensional universe before I comment. I'm not even going to mention scale here because that's a whole different video. What the Morgal is saying here though is strictly true if we were trying to view Venus during an equinox, which is what his model is portraying. Look, on September the 21st, Venus sets at 8.29pm, just 58 minutes after the Sun, so of course we wouldn't see Venus anywhere near 11pm. The evidence you supplied in the form of the photo was taken on the 16th of June, just five days away from the summer solstice. This is when the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun. So to see Venus at 11.43pm is not at all surprising, as this itself is only two hours or so after sunset, hardly the middle of the night. And so, uh, in case you, you think I'm making this up, uh, you can just do a quick Google search for um, what time did Venus set on 6, 16, 18. And so this was according to an observer in Illinois. It says Venus set uh, at 11.05 p.m., although uh, it seems like if you were in Michigan that date, maybe a little higher elevation, who knows? Yes, who knows? I think what happened is you started making this video, realized that the Michigan Venus set times messed you up, so tried to fudge it with Illinois times. I could be wrong, but it's got flat earther manipulation written all over it. And the simple fact of observing Venus after, uh, <laughs> well, after sunset. I like how he does that little laugh to himself because he thinks he's cracked it. Bless him. Now, of course, this doesn't prove that the Earth is flat, although it does debunk the heliocentric theory, which in my mind is um, just as good. Because, of course, everyone uh, is led to believe that the heliocentric theory, the ball earth theory, is infallible and is true and correct. As I said at the beginning, if you don't understand the heliocentric model in its entirety, then you can't even begin to try and criticise it. Because you end up with the situation you find yourself in now. You might as well find yourself naked in McDonald's it would be less embarrassing. Yet, uh, this one single observation of Venus um, after 11 p.m. debunks the heliocentric theory. No, it shows how completely clueless flat earthers are when it comes to astronomy. There is no logical argument against this. Apart from the one I've just given you. He rambles on a little bit more in this video about the moon, um, but it's all along the same vein. Complete non-understanding of the heliocentric model and the application of a 2D brain. Well, that's another Flat Earther dispatched. Clove busters. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. A like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. Those of you looking forward to the first Tuesday release, We'll be pleased to hear the first one will come out on the 2nd of October. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.